G'day. Um, we've got Graham Gilmore here today to uh, from Taddock Hill to uh, we're just introducing the people to next week's sale at uh, Tarkutter on Burke and Shaw's Lane. It'll be on next uh, Wednesday, the 16th of February at 1 p.m. Um, sharp. There will be rams will be penned up by 10 o'clock and uh, for inspection and and certainly the sale will start at 1 o'clock. It will be interfaced with Auctions Plus, so we have a. Uh, um, we have a, uh, yeah, we, so we need to start on time. We're pretty happy to have the first sale down here. Um, would be, I'm sure, uh, my, my late brother would be pretty excited to think that uh, we've bought a farm down here and then held a, held a sale on it. Uh, we're still running with Camden Valley, which we're uh, very happy to have Josh involved with the quality of his stock, and he's been, uh, he's been involved in the Australian whites right from the start. I don't think there's a year that he hasn't bought, uh, up until last year he only bought a ewe, but every other year he'd, he'd bought a ram from us at our sale and uh, he's been buying good quality stock and we're very happy to uh, to have him at the sale down here uh, by invitation and uh, yeah, the, the quality of his stock is, is very good. So we're, um, we're ready to roll, the shed's uh, virtually finished. Um, we'll uh, We'll, we'll certainly be everything right to go, internet's on, um, power and water, so everything's good to roll. So Graham, we have um, 12 stud rams that are uh, that are certainly, I've seen them earlier in the week down at the other property and they certainly look magnificent. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about them? You know, the, the well, the, the stud rams that we put up uh, are, are very good quality. Um, there's some, some top end rams that we're putting up in those studs and then some very sound sheep. Uh, one ram in particular, one sire, uh, 200085, has uh, represent a, a representation of five rams in it, uh, all very even, all very good sheep. Um, he's a ram that's bred the house down, was used as a lamb and uh, an outstanding sheep. Uh, then there's a good sprinkling of stud rams by other, other rams in there that are slightly different in genetics. Uh, the ewes are... Uh, the ewes are a, a beautiful line of even ewes, uh, right, right down to the end. Uh, there's not, there's not a big variation in them, but there's some outstanding ewes in there by Remington in particular, and uh, 770's got some beautiful ewes up early too. So they would be ewes that would, would be adequate for anyone to buy to start as good a stud as they could grow. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 something that people that are coming into the into the stud breeding side now have got the advantage of being able to project or purchase the the latest genetics so that means they're starting from as high a spot as you can um, so we we've always let our better genetics out we haven't tried to hold it uh, we've we've got the better stuff out there uh, even when it comes to rams we'll use the best rams ourselves and so that the breed progresses we'll sell those rams in the next year, so we'll use them as uh, six, seven month old rams, get lambs by them, use their sons and, and let those rams go. So we're, we're just constantly pushing the boundaries to get the best stock out there for the sake of the breed. And that's, uh, that's no doubt number one reason why the, why the breed has been so successful to date and grown so fast. So, uh, and onto the flock rams, the flock rams are sort of uh, uh, nine and ten months of age grown, exceptionally well grown, very even. Um, from start to finish, from the first one to the last one, they uh, they certainly uh, they certainly look the part in the paddock, and I'm sure they're going to look the same in the pen. So people will be able to uh, to bid up with confidence. But uh, it's not one of those things where if you miss in the first few, that you the stack of good rams right to the finish point, and they certainly uh, certainly oh, look, present well. I did uh, uh, mention earlier there that when I looked at the video work at the end of it and looked at some of the rams at the back of the sale. They basically look very similar to some of the stud rams. They're, uh, they're the same type, same shape. Uh, whilst there's always a bit of variation in there in, in uh, body depth and, and shape in that hind leg, they're still, still a very even group. Um, a group that are, uh, they're, they're good shedders, they've got a hair coat on them, uh, and that's something that the breed is around as a hair coat, not, not a wool shedder, it's, uh, it's, it's a hair sheep. So when they lose the cover that's on there, you're left with hair on the back. Uh, thick skin, hair, um, they're, to the best of my knowledge, all black in the feet. Um, I, I didn't notice, but we will check. Um, don't think there's anything that's not black on the feet. There are some people buying uh, rams on Auctions Plus and 
discovering that they don't have black feet. Um, we've, uh, we're pretty certain that the, the colouring on the feet, and it's a very important thing, it's not just the colour of the feet, it's the shape of the feet. Um, so they're, uh, they're not fed rams, they've been, uh, they've been running on, uh, on uh, some plantain, is what the, the rams have been running on the last month. Uh, so they're not, they're not a fed line of rams, but the, the weights on them for their age will be pretty good. Um, so they were weighed, the weights are on the, on Auctions Plus, uh, they were weighed three to four weeks before the sale, and um, they've probably put a fair bit on since then, but I wouldn't get too excited about whether a ram's uh, five or ten kilos heavier than the other one, it's uh, you buy on quality and shape would be the better way. Yeah, no, you'll, you'll certainly be impressed when you get here to see the quality and the shape and the and the and the squareness of the of the rams that certainly uh, present very well and um, and they're uh, they're only paddock fed which is which is brilliant because they're not uh, they're not fed with a feed cart or whatever they're certainly uh, what you see is what you get and that's what they're going to produce when you uh, when you get home with the article um, so next start uh, next Wednesday 1 p.m. at the Tarkata uh, the Taddick Hill South property at Tarkata for the uh, for the sale which as I said will be interfaced with auctions plus so if you can't make it to the sale you certainly can hop on and have a look and uh, and purchase via that all the uh, livestock at the sale will be uh, delivered at, at Taddick Hill's cost to uh, by Stephen Smith at Dick Smith Transport so he'll be coordinating Stephen will be here on the day to uh, to do that so if you come along with your own trailer and pick up the rams on the day that's fine but after if you can't pick them up on that day everything else will be delivered by uh, by Stephen who does an outstanding job of what he does. He's got a fantastic business and uh, and a good team of people. So we're certainly uh, happy to have them involved in uh, in delivering all the stock for us. And uh, yeah, good luck with your purchases next week. Or certainly uh, um, we do have a number of people who actually just turn up to have some of the Aussie white lamb for lunch and never seem to go home with a ram on the trailer. But they uh, they like to come every year and have a good feed for lunch if nothing else, Graham. So. Uh, yeah, so it's fully catered for, and and it seriously, you will come along and you'll eat as good a lamb as you can eat anywhere in the world. There's no doubt about that. So, and I suppose I'm the proof in the pudding. <laughs> uh, no, look, it, it's uh, we're just happy to to be having a sale down here. Um, said it's a, it's all the Taddy Hill stock are only are only lambs, they're only babies, but they're well grown and they'll go out and do a job. Yep. Good luck next week. All the best.